up fam it's your boy Kirk back at you with one of our first web tips videos most people know composition to be web design um, but we also do media consulting we do production we do broadcast engineering we do all that stuff in fact I am the media director at my current my church currently and we are doing a lot of things in that space and the tip that we have today actually has to deal with StreamYard and one of the ways that you can get good audio with StreamYard it's crazy um, so one of the things we've been uh, we noticed as we were going live with StreamYard was that our audio sounded like it was stepped on it sounded like you know the different channels were competing with one another especially if you have guests um, and we found one checkbox literally one checkbox that took care of the issue hopefully I can show that to you real quick and get right out of your way so I'm gonna switch to my desktop here and we're gonna see how this thing goes there we go all right so onto my desktop and you are seeing uh, my screen which is showing you uh, my StreamYard login now you as you know StreamYard when you log in they send you the code and pretty much it remembers your machine right there so I'm not gonna show that part um, but yeah this is this is uh, how that part's supposed to look and for the most part uh, what you want to do, I guess, from here is just to go in, um, go into the broadcast studio. So we're going to go into the one that I created for this audio settings. This is pretty much standard. They always have a little pro tip there, which I think is pretty cool. I don't have a camera set up, for, not at least not for StreamYard to use. I have one for Ecamm to use, but that's a whole nother story and another video and another tip for another time. What you want to do is click on this right here, cam mic, the little wheel. Click on that. And then you want to go into the audio section. And if you, well, generally speaking, this option here, uh, disable audio processing is unchecked. So you want to check, un well, you want to check that box because it will be unchecked. And if you want a little more information, you just want to hover your mouse over the question mark and it's going to give you this blurb. And it says, do not use this setting unless you have a high quality microphone and are wearing headphones or you don't have any guests. This setting disables audio processing features like echo cancellation, noise suppression, and auto gain control. This is often used by podcasters and musicians. Well, guess what? If you are pushing high quality audio into StreamYard, you fall into the category of podcaster or musician and you need to click this. And what that also means is that if you have guests coming in, they need to wear headphones. Everyone who is on the show needs to wear headphones, needs to wear fam. They need to wear headphones. So uh, once that's clicked, then you can come back out of here and you can just enter broadcast studio. And so here's the thing. Most people at this point, you know, pretty much you're done. But if you're running the show and you have guests coming in and you're not certain, you know, they, you ask them, hey, did you check the box that I told you to check or whatever? You want to you can go right back into the same thing here. They have the same option. Cam Mike, click on that guy go right back to the audio. And here we're at the exact same screen, same options. Make sure that you disable audio processing is checked and that they have their um, headphones in. Then their mic is set to whatever you can hear and that their speakers are set so that they can hear whoever's speaking to them through their their headphones trust me we were struggling with this thing i am talking about struggling with this thing for quite some time um had no idea that that option was there in fact one of my guys the audio engineer at my church he found a video where a lady was describing this thing on Zoom, and we were just like, okay, there you go. Yeah, the light bulb went off. We we're saying that that option's got to be somewhere in StreamYard. And we found it and tried it again, did a test run, went live for church service that following Saturday, and let me tell you, a marked difference. In fact, it wasn't just a difference in how the band and the praise team sounded. It was also a difference in the audio between guests on the show. So our pastor has a panel discussion after the sermon and all the guests were able to talk and laugh and interact naturally like you would if you were sitting in the same room. And that to me was the killer that literally like finished out the whole thing that because I mean, honestly, that was what we needed. That's 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 what we wanted from the beginning. So um, that's really it. Uh, hopefully, you know, you have that, you know, 
excited feeling right now saying, yo, I, I needed this. I needed this uh, piece of, of, of information for me to be able to stream properly on StreamYard because it's such a great platform. Um, I still feel like they could do more in terms of how the platform handles audio, but that's another story again for another time. This one was just a quick one. Wanted to get in, get out, give you that little piece of information, and hopefully it is going to help somebody out there to have a great production. That's it from me. Web tips from Composition, howitallworks.com, yourcomposition.com. If you have web needs, if you have media needs, hit us up. We want to serve you. Later.